A group of Black Lives Matter protesters hosting a vigil in downtown Greenville tonight. This was at the Peace Center, all to pray for Jacob Blake and his three children. Blake was shot by a police officer in Kenosha, Wisconsin, and is paralyzed now from the waist down, according to his family attorney. Officers involved in that shooting placed on leave, and the Wisconsin Department of Justice investigating. A federal civil rights investigation also underway. Fox Carolina's Amber Worthy has been following this tonight. She's live in downtown Greenville. So this is really focused on those children, uh, Amber, who saw all of this. Yes, because police in Wisconsin did confirm that those children were just feet away when those shots were fired. And members of the Black Lives Matter movement here in Greenville wrote powerful messages, including the names of various people who have been killed due to police brutality. And people here say they were heartbroken by the video that went viral showing Jacob Blake collapsing into his car where his children were when he was shot. The group is praying for them. They are also chanting for justice in this case, although we are still waiting on the results of those investigations. The organizer of tonight's vigil says that they have another event planned for tomorrow in their call for justice. But tonight they are standing with Blake's family and his children. Make sure that we don't lose sight that there were three young children in this vehicle when Mr. Blake was shot. Uh, and I think that, that, that sometimes we forget about that, that these children were three, five and eight years old that witnessed their father be shot in the back seven times at close range and they could hear that. And what's very poignant to me is the fact that it was the eight-year-old child's birthday. And before the event, they wrote these statements like, stop traumatizing black children, justice for Jake, Jacob Blake, Black Lives Matter on the ground in chalk right outside of the Peace Center here in downtown. These messages, I'm sure, will be echoed at their planned protest for tomorrow. The organizer of this event says that they do plan for uh, tomorrow's events to be peaceful as they've always anticipated their events to be. We will have continuing coverage of everything that unfolds here in downtown Greenville tomorrow. Those be events begin starting at 5 p.m. For now, reporting live in downtown Greenville, Amber Worthy for the 11 o'clock news.